What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO and promoter, Bob Arum, he confirms that his fighter, undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, who currently is the WBO welterweight world champion, is widely considered by many to be the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Well, he confirms that Terence Crawford will not be fighting until the fall. And in fact, Terence Crawford is waiting on the winner of next Saturday's, well, this Saturday's upcoming massive undisputed junior welterweight showdown between Jose Ramirez, who holds the WBC and the WBO, and undefeated British junior welterweight world champion superstar boxer, Josh Taylor, who holds the IBF and the WBA titles. They will be going into an undisputed showdown this upcoming Saturday night. With that said, Bob Arum says that they have uh, a plan in place where they may have to face their uh, mandatory or they're going to vacate the belts and move up and face Terrence Crawford. So Terrence Crawford essentially, according to Bob Arum, is going to hold off and he's going to wait to see if they indeed have to face their mandatory or the winner of this fight is going to move up and look to fight him. There will be a storyline as to Terrence Crawford and the winner of this fight because Terrence Crawford is the last undisputed junior welterweight world champion. And so he'll be going up against the current and he is the last. So that will be the storyline. But Bob Arum stated that so Terrence Crawford is not going to pursue a showdown with two-time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter because he's free. The last time Terrence Crawford fought was November 14th. That was against former IBF welterweight world champion British superstar boxer Special K Kel Brook. He stopped Kel Brook, but that's the last time he was in the ring. So now he's saying Terrence Crawford is going to wait until the fall with his eyes set on the winner of this fight. So that means that he could possibly face off against Sean Porter or he could face off against, uh, he was looking to face off against legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. But Bob Arum says that fell through. Now the WBO they removed Sean Porter, who was initially the number one WBO mandatory challenger for Terrence Crawford and his title. And now they replaced Sean Porter with undefeated rising Mexican superstar title contender Virgil Ortiz Jr. And so with that said, right, now, because the plans fell through for Terrence Crawford to face Manny Pacquiao, he's void of opponent. The next big fight would be himself versus Sean Porter. But he told Sean Porter if his big plans fell through, he would revisit the possibility of facing off against Sean Porter. He's now told Sean Porter that twice and he has no interest in facing Sean Porter. Also, the mega super fight in the sport of boxing is Terence Crawford versus his rival, undefeated unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top three pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world in Earl the True Spence Jr. And Terrence Crawford, he's made it abundantly clear that that fight is in his rearview mirror. And the fact that Terrence Crawford is not entertaining the possibility of facing Sean Porter leads me to believe he'll never fight Earl Spence Jr. Because I believe that Sean Porter should be the fight that Terrence Crawford should be pursuing after Manny Pacquiao fight fell through. And he took the social media and he stated when Sean Porter called him out and says the fight that the fans want, they're hungry for, is me versus you. Let's feed the fans. And Terrence Crawford, he responded by saying, now you really tested me. And then he says, so just stay on standby. And if my plans fall through, then I'll revisit the possibility of facing you. Well, according to Bob Arum and the reports, your plans fell through to face Manny Pacquiao and now you still don't want to 
revi revisit the idea of fighting Sean Porter, which would be the biggest fight in Terence Crawford's career. So he would rather sit on the shelf until the fall. Now get this, he's also a free agent in October. But Bob Arum, he alludes to that Terence Crawford, regardless of the fact that he's a free agent in October, he still owes them another fight. So Bob Arum is saying in the fall, he'll face the winner of that fighter. That's who he have his eyes on. Unless there's a possibility that the uh, uh, opportunity can uh, re-arise to fight Manny Pacquiao, who he's been looking to secure a fight for the better part of six years. So this lets you know that Terrence Crawford views Sean Porter as a serious, serious, you know, risk because he don't want to run the risk of losing to Sean Porter and lose the opportunity of possibly securing a fight with Manny Pacquiao in the future instead of just lining them up. And when the fans and the boxing world states that Errol Spence is fighting a better opposition in a consistent basis than Terrence Crawford, this is why. He fought Mikey Garcia, then Sean Porter, then Danny Garcia, coming off of a horrific car accident and a 14-month layoff. The first fight back was against Danny Garcia, a two-division world champion, former unified junior welterweight world champion, a former WBC welterweight world champion, who was still considered to be in his prime of his career. And at the time, he only had two losses to Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. And he fought him off a 14-month layoff after suffering a horrific car accident and nobody knew how he was going to return. Even Bob Arum says his career was over. And he wouldn't be the same. And this is who he chose to fight. But yet, Terrence Crawford hasn't fought since November against Kel Brook. In a fight that Bob Arum says he truly didn't even want to accept that fight. And now he's going to sit on the shelf to September or October. And wait for the winner, Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor. Or hope that he could secure a Pacquiao fight. Instead of fighting Sean Porter in the summer and still could fight in the fall. Well, again, it leads me to believe that if he stated he has no interest in fighting Errol Spence and that fight is in his rearview mirror because Errol Spence said he wanted a 60-40 split because he's doing all the heavy lifting. He's fighting a better opposition and he's doing the bigger numbers and the proof is there in the pudding. And he's saying, well, it got to be 50-50 or 60-40 in my favor. But yet, he has the opportunity to fight one of the best welterweights in the world. And he's choosing to sit on the shelf, like Bob Merrill said, and wait with his eyes on a Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez winner, and hopes they move up and fight him in a big fight. Josh Taylor, Jose Ramirez winner, again, is not bigger than Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. Again, I said Josh Taylor... Is a big fight if he beats Jose Ramirez. His route to becoming undisputed is arguably better than Terrence Crawford's route to becoming undisputed. And the storyline would be there. And yeah, it would be a big fight. But is it bigger than him and Sean Porter? No. Is a fight with him and Virgil Ortiz bigger than Sean Porter? No. The only fight is him and Manny Pacquiao. But Manny Pacquiao seems to have his sights set on four-division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Mikey Garcia. And there's no guarantee because according to the reports in Team Pacquiao, they plan on announcing their retirement plans during the Mikey Garcia buildup and press conference. So maybe Manny Pacquiao retires and you're still hanging on your career on Manny Pacquiao that's been being mentioned since 2014, 2015. And Bob Arum himself told you that he was the one that prevented the fight from coming to fruition. And you're still waiting around for him instead of building your legacy with other legacy fights. But then everybody says, when, when Errol Spence says that I'm doing all the heavy lifting, I'm fighting all the better opposition, and you see the resume and what Errol Spence is trying to unify now against your Dana Sugas, who's now the WBA champion after Manny Pacquiao was removed from being champion due to inactivity. So he's trying to unify the belt. He was trying to secure a fight with Keith Thurman for years. He got the fight with Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, and Mikey Garcia. He said that he's going to have his sights set on Terrence Crawford as soon as he gets this belt. And let's see who's holding up what. Well, I'm starting to believe Terrence Crawford just doesn't want the big fights. The legacy defining fights. He wants the big payday with Manny Pacquiao. Because there's no way that Terrence Crawford 
should not be advising Bob Arum to make a fight with him and Sean Porter opposed to sitting on the shelf until the fall almost a year since the last time he was in the ring and waiting for Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor window. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hi, my name is Heather Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.